Hey, it's Chris, and in this video, I'm going to review the Shimano PDM530 pedals. The M530s, maybe. So they are an SPD clip in pedal or clipless pedal. And so the kind of mountain bike, two point cleats, they're not the road cleats, and it's a double sided pedal, so whichever way up you can just clip straight in. It's got the normal tension adjuster so you can tighten how easy it is to clip in and out of them. And they're really similar to some other Shimano pedals, the PDEH 500s, which is SPD on one side, flat on the other, but they've got the SPD clip on both sides. Otherwise, pretty standard to install. They are a heavy pedal. So in terms of should you get these, should you not, if you're really comfortable with clipless, then you probably want something lighter, like an egg beater, something like that, because they're just gonna weigh a lot less than these. Whereas these are quite good if you're new to clipless, and what you want is to make it easy to find your pedal. So when your foot's coming down, it's if it's only a pole sticking out, it's quite hard. Here, you're gonna, you're gonna land on the pedal every time. That uh, doesn't really mean it's a good for a quick getaway because pedaling without clipping in, just like sticking your shoes on there is quite uncomfortable because you're only gonna make contact with this top part. You're not gonna touch most of it. But if you're just kind of waving your foot around trying to find it, then the bigger surface area for that will be a lot better. And I, I, one of the, the big selling points is that the black, I think, Technically it might be a gray, but it's a very dark gray. So they're gonna match your crank arms. If like most bikes, you have black crank arms and you know, who wants pedals that stick out on a bike? So for that reason, they're quite good. So if you're just getting into clipless, these might be a good option, but you also might wanna consider some of the, if you're just getting into it, you might want the flats on one side and the clipless on the other. Uh, and if you're more into it, then maybe you want to go with something like egg beaters or road pedals, but they're quite good, I guess, as a kind of middling commuter pedal, because then you're not going to be too worried about weight. You're going to want to make it as easy as possible to clip in and out. So the big surface area is quite nice there. And you, one of the things with road pedals or the combo pedals with the flats on one side is that you're constantly having to look down and see what side you're on, whereas these you can just push your foot in. So if you are stopping and starting on clipless a lot, then definitely you want some double-sided because that makes the whole thing easier. I'll show you some footage of it on the bike. It might, it might be the the other pedals, but they're essentially the same as the EH500s from the top side. It's just the, the other side that's slightly different. So let's get that footage now. Hope you found that quick overview useful. If so, then please hit subscribe and I'll, we'll stick some links up and down below to the other pedal reviews I've got. So if you're still undecided, check out those reviews as well and see which ones might suit you the best. 